beauties, hi bones. I'm coming to do this video in response to the concerns that I'm getting about the surgery that I had. I had a partial hysterectomy and I actually had no idea that this video would touch as many ladies as it has. Uh, that's why I say you never know uh, what you put out there, who it's helping. Um, so I'm actually glad that I did it because I actually wasn't going to do it. But um, I'm glad I chose to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use this video um, to answer the questions that I've been getting. If after this video, if you have any more questions for me, go ahead and put those down in the comment section as you have been doing. Or you can inbox me if you prefer to uh, remain anonymous. So a lot of us that face with having to make the decision to have a hysterectomy, whether it's a full one or a partial one, you go through a lot of emotions. Um, scared, uh, nervous, you don't know what to expect, you think you're not going to be feminine, your, your sexual uh, appetite is going to be diminished, things of that nature. So I'm just going to give you what I went through, my experience, and what I'm experiencing now in, in the aspect of um, the sexual part of it. Now, please be patient with me when I start speaking about the sexual part of it because I'm a very, very private person when it comes to that. Um, and I'm embarrassed quickly when I talk about it. So um, just keep that in mind. So I went through the feelings of... You know, I'm, I'm not going to feel like a woman anymore. Um, I'm not going to be desirable. I'm not going to want to have sex anymore. And the reason that those were c concerning me is because I have a, a naturally uh, high sex drive. Um, I've always been a sexual being. Not easy. Not easy. I'm not an easy woman. Let's not get it twisted. But... I enjoy the art of making love, okay? Um, so that concerned me um, as, as well as I was hearing stories of, you know, you're not going to be able to have an orgasm, um, you're going to be dry, um, you're not going to be able to... to go for long periods of time, you're going to need lubricants, you're going to need this, that, and the other. So all of that was uh, on my mind, as well as, first and foremost, my health. What, what was I going to feel like afterwards? Um, because before I had the surgery, I had to have blood transfusion because I was losing um, a large amount of fluid each month with my cycle. Um, I had to use two super plus tampons plus a pad and I had to change every hour no no longer than an hour and a half. I had to change. Um, I was fatigued. I couldn't climb stairs without becoming extremely exhausted. Um, I lost weight and my whole health went from being fantastic to not so great. So end up being hospitalized, had a blood transfusion, and I was then told that my uterus was falling. And I already knew, I'll say maybe two, three years before this episode happened, that I had fibroids. My fibroids were the size of uh, golf balls and I had three of them at the time. So um, I, I urge you to get second, third, and fourth opinions before you go through with the surgery, especially if you don't have any children. 
I have three children and I did, did not and don't have a desire to have any more. Um, but if you are in a position where you don't have any children yet, I, I urge you to please, please have a second, third, and fourth opinion before you do this. Okay. The next thing I guess um, I've been getting a lot of questions about is your sex drive. Um, like I said, my sex drive was already extremely high before the surgery and I was concerned about that. Um, but since the surgery, even now present today, my sex drive is still intact and I have to be honest and say that it has increased um, so <laughs> um, that has actually taken me aback um, because I didn't expect it to increase I expected it to decrease a little bit but um, that was not the case uh, with me also um, feeling sexy. I actually feel sexier than I did before. Um, I see myself in, um, it's, it's really weird because I see myself, um, more vibrant, uh, more confident, more attractive, and I've never I don't want to say I never had those feelings about myself, but they weren't intensified as they are right now. I don't know if that's due to the surgery or if that's just due to age or whatever. I don't know what's causing that, but um, I noticed it after I had the surgery. Um... I, I just feel more confident um, in my appearance and um, my sexual nature. I feel more um, vibrant. Um, my the length of time that I can um, indulge is greater. Um, as far as the dryness and things of that nature, if I have to use lubricants, um, I do not um, have to use, in, I don't need the aid of uh, any lubricant or anything like that. Um, so that was a concern from, for me as well. Um, luckily, knock on wood, I don't have to rely on that. Um, let me see what else can I cover uh, with you guys. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this on camera. But anyway, I just wanted to help ladies that have to go through this. Um, because it's not fun. Um, you feel like you're going to be less of a woman once you have some of your feminine parts taken away from you. And I just want to let you know that that is not always the case. Um, maybe with the full um, hysterectomy that might be um, increased. The chances of it happening may increase with that. No hot flashes. I haven't had that. Now I did go through a period um, where I would get hot and like have, you know, just start sweating. Um, and I asked the doctor about that. He said I was not um, going into um, menopause or whatever the case may have been with that. Um, now it has stopped. I don't have those um, um, outbursts. I call them outbursts because I, I would just get to a point where I was just, it, it was like a flame. And my sis, one of my sisters explained it to me. It feel, feels like a flame just coming from your toes and just shooting up and you just do whatever you can do to try to cool off but I'm not experiencing that anymore uh, like I said I feel um, I feel extremely sexy I feel um, 
way confident and I'm loving this new person that I've become um, and most of my beauties uh, that's been rocking with me for a while you may have seen the change as well and like in my outfit of the days I may come off a little funky a little funkier a little bit more um, peppier and I just noticed that all of that is coming from well since I've had the surgery um, but yeah guys I'm not gonna hold you any longer if you have any more questions any more concerns um, I'm always here for you regardless if you sub subscribe to my channel or not drop me a line and let me know um, if it's anything that I can help you with um, many ladies have come to me they're totally afraid afraid and I've sent prayers out. I will always do that. Um, I tell you guys, let me know, you know, how it goes afterwards. I've gotten responses back from that as well. So I'm not just a hit and miss. I'm not just going to, you know, answer your comment and then we're done. If you need me, I'm here. Okay, just know that. Um, because this is not an easy process to go through. So just make sure you have your support system, make sure you do what the doctor tells you to do and don't try and overdo it. That Those are the best tips that I can give you. Um, hopefully as far as the your sex drive and your um, excitability, <laughs> we'll put it like that, um, hopefully none of that uh, would be affected with your procedure. So again, I will see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate, okay? This is Gina checking out. Always helping you to keep your fancy beauty. Bye, guys.